So here we have it, the new Triumph Bonneville T120 Bud Eakins. So this is the new bike to replace the R90 Scrambler and the Thruxton R. The T120 Bud Eakins Bonneville. And very nice it is too. Put a few extras on it and I think really all the extras that we are going to fit on it. So we've uh, put the Triumph screen on, master cylinder cap, clutch cable guide in black. And the Triumph comfort seat. Uh, fancy oil filler cap and a Motown Customs uh, radiator guard. This didn't actually have any radiator guard on it. Oh, and I've uh, nicked the bash plate off of the Thruxton, so that's on here now. There's a set of uh, British Customs Sleeper Pro exhausts on their way from America, which is nice. So this bike comes standard with LED indicators, far end mirrors, these gray handlebar grips, which I think also come on the uh, Thruxton on the track racer kit. You've obviously got the LED indicator at the front. Um, what else? I think that's about it. Doesn't have a hand rail or grab rail on the back, which is fine because I would have taken it off if I'd have had it. Comes with the uh, knee rubbers on the tank. And it also comes with a center stand, which is great because I love I tend to stand on a bike like this. We've also got the uh, Triumph tank bag, which is what this fitting's all about. Um, that's not on at the moment, obviously. That was on special offer on eBay, brand new, 70 pounds. So I thought that was a good buy. Now, the only thing I might do is I might put the black engine cases that were fitted onto the Thruxton on this. I do like the black engine cases, but I also like these cases. So I'm not sure. I'm going to wait till it's at its first service and then we should look at that later on. But that may be uh, another job to do. So why don't we go out for a little ride and see what it's like. So another new bike. God, it doesn't stop. But this one is the uh, Bud Eakins Special Edition. I think these came out in either 2019 or 20. So obviously it's registered as a 21 plate, but it's a Euro 4 bike. It's not a Euro 5 bike, thankfully. So we can still muck about with decatting and uh, changing silencers if we want without too many problems but I, I, do, I do like this uh, particular T120 model the Bud Eakins one different colors it's got most of the extras that I well, it's got all the extras that I would put on it if I was uh, just having a standard T120 
but yeah it's just a really comfortable riding position you know I could ride this all day without a problem pretty good tank range about 160 miles if you're not nailing it nice clock same clocks as the Thruxton I'll put the little nose screen on just think it finishes it off running in at the moment done 211 miles got to uh, try and get at least another 150 200 miles done this weekend uh, not the first service next week it's not crucial to do 500 miles but uh, it'd be nice to get near there I always uh, found that these handle quite well. Some people uh, change the rear shocks. Don't know that I'm going to get uh, into that or not. I mean, for what it is, it, it sort of rides nicely. Obviously not got quite as much punch as the Thruxton. It'd be nice to make a hybrid with all the uh, Thruxton engine and uh, fuel mapping. Should sound nice with the new pipes on. PG at the moment with running in is uh, 54.8 miles to the gallon. I mean, it has got plenty of pull actually, it's a bit deceiving because uh, you look down at the clock and you think, oh going a bit faster than we thought we were. It's the sound, you see, it's because it's quiet. When they're loud, they sound faster. It's got a pretty good tank range on it, really, though. I'd say you're looking at about 160, 155, 160, which is... Uh, which is good and uh, you know if you was to be on a, a nice long motorway run you'll probably find you might get up to 180, 190 but for me it's the riding position it's just such a comfortable uh, riding position especially with this comfort seat it just uh, makes all the difference so get up to 70 3,000 RPM, under running in speed, it's quite happy, not too much uh, force on the body, and obviously we must all obey the speed limit, so why would you want to go any faster than this? You do get a nice little uh, certificate signed by Uh, owner of Triumph and uh, Bud Eakins daughters Bud Eakins of course was uh, he was a stunt rider friend of Steve McQueen carried out some of the stunts on the great escape desert racing and stuff with uh, Steve McQueen back in the 60s. I've certainly seen him on some of the documentaries uh, about Steve McQueen. So thanks for watching. Thanks to uh, all the new subscribers, and we're nearly at 400 subscribers.
So uh, if you like, put a thumbs up. Subscribe if you'd like as well. And uh, thanks for watching. So we'll see you again on the next one.